So just when I'm about to shoot a video, I discover that the microphone isn't charged. Or the small crater like these are some of the things that we face as small creators on YouTube. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ajuri and this is Ajuri Style. As a small creator, it's expected of you to put in so much work and try to make your channel work right. You have to navigate your way until you finally make it on YouTube. Or the challenges that we face, I don't think it's something we often talk about on this YouTube channel. Oh God. So I'm making this video to actually come out here and talk to small creators. Like I'm talking to myself, to be honest, because I know there are creators out there that are feeling the same way at this point. Like you've been creating YouTube content and a lot has been going on. I'm just going to highlight a few of the things that we creators or small creators face on YouTube and exactly how you can overcome these challenges. My microphone is charging. <laughs> I don't know how the audio of this of this video is but i just hope it's it's okay the first thing small creators face on youtube is finding a niche like you have something you're passionate about right and you might be even creating content around that or you find out that you're not getting the engagement you should get you're not getting the views you should get as a small creator like it can be really really frustrating it can be tiring to be honest or there's something I would want to encourage or talk to. I want to talk to small creators about, about finding a niche. First of all, you have to like look into something you're passionate about. This thing, these videos you want to create, it's something I really love. Focus on something you really love. This way you not get tired. You won't lose motivation and concentration because it's a passion and it's something you like to do. Maybe you love food. You love cooking, you love hiking, you love like there are different things that people love. It could be even a hobby. So if you focus on something you're passionate about, that's going to help you start up like, okay, this is where you're starting from. Like give you a starting point as a small creator. Also try to experiment, like try different things. I know there are some people that doesn't like just one thing or their hobbies isn't just about cooking. You have other things you're passionate or something you like. Also, don't forget to try these different things. You never can tell which one might work for you. Then you can decide if you want to niche down or still play around YouTube. Ooh. So another challenge small creators face on YouTube is low visibility. Like you upload a video on YouTube and you barely have up to 100 views. It sucks, to be honest. That really sucks. Um, what I would say is Try to optimize your videos. Try to make sure you're using like the right tags. I know that's one of the challenges that small creators face, like getting low views. How do I optimize my videos? How do I use the, how do I know the right keywords to use? How do I know the right tags? Like it can be a bit tricky, trust me as a small creator. Um, but I would advise, try to um, use apps like vidIQ they help i think they have the free version that you can explore used to check keywords how they rank so this has to do with like the overall score also the search volume and like the competition if you want me to make a detailed video how you can know that please drop in the comment section and i i promise to make a video on how you can use vidIQ to navigate or to get the right keywords or to know which keyword is best to use for your YouTube. So try as much as you can as a small creator to make sure you're doing your research before using any keyword on your videos. Sometimes you even do all of these things and it still doesn't give you views. But it's not bad if we keep ourselves or put ourselves in the position that might make our videos go viral. You never can tell. Another challenge is that small creators face in the YouTube space is slow subgroups. There are some times when you post videos, sometimes you even see the subscriber count move up and it drops drastically. It's so, so sad. It can be disheartening to discover that you're at 500 subscribers and the next two days you're at 400 or you're at 450, 470, depend on what the case might be. If you're experiencing that as a small creator, just don't worry about the subscriber count. Focus on 
quality content like when you create quality content and people like that video people are at peace with the video you created trust me the subscribers will come so don't bother if your subscriber count is not improving if it's not adding up don't worry focus on creating quality content that will keep people engaged and keep watching your video and there is no way someone will watch your video and not subscribe because they got value for that video so the first challenge is small youtubers encounter on their youtube channel is limited resources like i know some of us have like content ideas like we have this brilliant idea that will, will be like if i put this out like it's going to be a banger like you know what i mean but you don't have maybe the gadget, you don't have some equipment or something that will bring that idea and that vision to life. That could be a challenge. Like, I understand how that feels. I will tell you this for free. Start with what you have. If you have people who are supportive, like family, friends that can help you relieve you of these burdens or these things that you actually need as a small creator to execute your plan or your ideas and bring them to life, just do it. But starts from where you are then focus on improving once you improve you'll be able to invest or afford buying these gadgets buying these things that would help improve the quality of your video Ooh. i don't know if these are charged or imagine me not remembering i need to charge the microphone it has charged it came on you can see the green lights so you can use the microphone i hope it sounds better so yeah that's the fourth challenge small creators face on youtube so another challenge that small creators face on youtube is low engagement oh yes low engagement you post your videos and nobody likes nobody comments you know and you know deep down that that video is valuable or has some or has some sort of value in it or nobody's liking nobody's commenting so that shouldn't bother you just keep doing what you're doing keep making out the videos keep improving keep making your next video better than the previous video okay and you will start seeing changes and you will start seeing growth so engage your audience very, very important if someone leaves a comment always try to reply always try to yeah reply to them always try to engage with your audience and don't forget to encourage your viewers to always like your videos always leave a comment or you can drop something that would make them drop a comment like ask them a question ask them what they think their opinion about the video this way you're boosting your engagement i can remember on my recent live stream i asked like viewers to please like the live stream please support by liking and somebody dropped a comment in the comment section the person was like why are you begging people for likes why are you telling people to like your live stream that may sound really discouraging trust me like it's going to make you feel kind of weird about what you're doing but trust me do not stop asking people to like to comment to subscribe to your youtube channel because sometimes even you as a creator if you're watching other creators videos maybe creators that you're just meeting for the first time like you enjoy that content to the point that you forget to even like it because you're so so engrossed into that video you forgot to like and immediately the creator says please like subscribe oh you like oh i'm gonna do this and they subscribe and they like almost immediately this is the power of asking for engagement asking your viewers to like to subscribe and to support your channel like it's not a bad thing even the big creators that have millions of subscribers always say that mr beast always tell people subscribe for a cookie like for a cookie so right now drop a comment if you watch to this point <laughs> so overcoming the youtube algorithm is another challenges that small creators face on youtube like how do i beat the algorithm the algorithm is not favoring me <laughs> the algorithm is against me what do i do what do i do easy post consistently consistency is a pain when it comes to the youtube algorithm like you're constantly putting out content. You're constantly signaling the algorithm that, hey, I'm here. Ajuri Style is here. Please pick up my channel or stuff like that. And when you are creating valuable content and you're creating it consistently, the algorithm is going to notice you. It might take a while. It might take time. But if you consistently post valuable content, the YouTube algorithm 
will notice you. You can also check for trending topics in your niche or just content that you know is going to encourage your the interactions, that's going to increase your interactions and keep viewers glued to watching your video. This way, the YouTube is going to notice your video or notice your channel and push out your videos to people that might likely watch and people that might likely stay and give you the engagement that you want. This way, it's no longer going to be the YouTube algorithm is against me. <laughs> It's going to be the YouTube algorithm has remembered me. So easy. Take it easy on yourself. Let's head to the next one. Ooh. If I tell you at this point, I am almost burning out or I was burned out. You might think I'm joking or I am lying. Like the past week has been hectic for me because I've been thinking, overthinking rather, about this whole YouTube thing. How do I do this? what do i do what next do i do and i'll be doing research i'll be doing this doing that like it got to a point i would have my brain i'll just start feeling like <clears throat> pissed off like it happens trust me we don't have to pretend about this part burnout is a major challenge a small creator faces like even though we admit it or not it is going to be there because you're thinking you're checking your studio you're checking your videos how many people have liked how many views have added like it's going to make you question a whole lot of things about your YouTube channel, but take a chill pill. Take breaks when necessary. I could remember last week I was not like for some weeks or I think two weeks I did not post on YouTube. Like my normal um, weekly uploads, my long form videos, I didn't upload because I was at that point where I was feeling so overwhelmed. I was feeling troubled like this thing, is it worth it? Should I continue? Should I stop? I feel like that personally. So burnout is a thing when it comes to creating content on YouTube, but don't let that stop you from posting videos. You can take a break, very necessary. When you feel stressed, when you're feeling overwhelmed by this whole YouTube drama and all of that, take breaks, okay? Relax, rethink, re-strategize if the need be and come back, come back like you never left. Like I always say on my live stream. <laughs> As a small creator on this YouTube, I've been worried about monetization. I am not there yet for the fear of, oh, when I get monetized, how am I going to get the views? Like some of my, some of my fellow creators can relate to this. Even I was talking to somebody, I think yesterday, and I'm like, how do I get money from YouTube? Is it from these low views I'm having? Is that how I'm going to get monetized? Is that how I'm going to be earning on YouTube? Because YouTube pays per 1,000 views. So if you aren't even getting up to 1,000 views on your videos, <laughs> how are you going to get money? How are you going to earn? So the stress of monetization is already affecting me from now. But do not let that bother you. There's always this saying, when you get to that bridge, you will cross it. If other people can navigate their way around that, if other people can earn as even small creators and earn well on YouTube, trust me, you too can do it. I can also do it. So keep the fear of monetization. How am I going to go around the AdSense thing? How am I going to create my account? All of the, just take a chill pill. Take a chill pill. When you get to that bridge, you will definitely cross it. Okay, so relax relax okay it's really funny that as a small creator or a small channel they are already getting like criticism like people are already like why are you posting this why is your video like this they are already giving you not even constructive like real criticism that's one thing that can be really really discouraged especially when you've picked up your camera to make your video be like you start thinking what people would say what my viewers would say what people that don't like my channel would say see don't allow criticism to make you lose focus or make you lose motivation as a small creator on your YouTube channel. People are definitely going to say a lot of things, good comments, bad comments, but I'm going to encourage you as a small creator, focus on the positive feedback, okay? And also use the constructive criticism. There are people that are genuinely trying to um, bring out their observation, like something they know is not right for your channel or something you're doing that is not right yeah those are constructive criticism make sure you use those mistakes to grow your channel okay learn from the mistakes and also use those and use those as a stepping stone to bettering your channel and making the best out of it so criticism is also a challenge for small creators imagine small creator we never reach anywhere <laughs> it is what it is it is what it is so another challenge small creators face on youtube is keeping consistent motivation this one i am guilty <laughs> 
I can be guilty of it. Trust me. Like you decide to stay consistent, you start posting one week, two weeks, three weeks, one month, and when you don't see, <laughs> when you don't see the changes or the improvement that you want <clears throat> or you desire, ah, motivation or tilo, like it just drops. The motivation to create consistently or post consistently drops. Like it's 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 real. It's normal if you're going through that. Okay, as a small creator, if you want to stay consistent. So this is what I'm trying to do as a small creator to keep that consistency going, to keep me motivated to post videos consistently. Set realistic goals. <laughs> set goals that you know that yes, you can achieve within a period of time. Don't go and set goals like, oh, I want to get 1,000 subscribers in one hour. You and I know that thing is fairly, it's either a miracle or luck that can give you that. So don't set goals that you know you can't achieve. Set goals that you know that when you achieve them, you'll be proud of yourself. Like that pride is going to give you the motivation to do the next goal or to set up another goal, which you're also going to achieve. And also try to celebrate your wins, no matter how small, no matter how small. Be proud of yourself. Like you've got this. If YouTube is what you really want to do, you've got this. I'm telling you today. You've got this. I got this as well. It's not going to be easy. Like, it's not going to be easy. But I'm just going to add this to, to it. Don't forget about the God factor. Like, <clears throat> always put God in whatever you're doing. Whether your YouTube channel, whether your work, whether your business. Always put God at the center. Because <clears throat> so many channels are blow up. Like, it just happens. And you be like, how did this happen? Because <clears throat> I'm not even seeing any quality on this channel. And I'm not seeing... Not that those people are not trying their best or putting them in the work. Or you and I know seeing a God drawn up for them. So, try to pray about your channel. It sounds, it may sound weird to some people who aren't Christians, but I'm a Christian and I do not forget about this God factor. Maybe it doesn't happen today. It might not happen tomorrow, but I'm definitely, and I'm sure that one day I'll be proud of my journey on YouTube and I'll be so happy that I did not quit YouTube. So I'm encouraging you as a small creator, do not quit, do not give up. Continue putting one step in front of the other. Continue doing your thing, continue improving them, continue creating valuable content that people will see, people would watch and they'll be like, hmm, I learned even if it's one thing, even if it's one thing. So tell me the one thing you've learned from this video today because I'm sure you have. And drop in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Um, please click on the video on your screen right now and watch and I will see you again when I see you. Thank you. God bless you. Bye.